Wendy emailed me and said it would be so helpful if I would walk through how to tie a bow. So here we go. Now this is a crepe ribbon. It's about oh, five eighths of an inch or three quarters of an inch wide. It really makes no difference about the ribbon um, because the process is the same. Now I'm right handed so I'm going to take my ribbon, the cut end, and I'm going to hold it in my left hand and I'm going to make a loop. You don't have to worry at this point how long the loop is. This is, oh, about an inch and a half, but um, we're going to change the size of it. So I'm holding that again in my left hand. The cut end is right here, and the long end is streaming over to my right. Now I'm going to wrap the ribbon around my finger. You can see how my fingers are holding it. I'm going to bring my ribbon up and over. And I'm going, as I do this, you can see that I'm leaving a little pocket, if you will, around as this ribbon is going around. So let me just do it again. I'm coming right around here. So you can see that. Now I've got one loop. A bow has two loops. So I'm going to take my thumb on my right hand and I'm going to push the ribbon through where this finger is. And I'm just going, my, finger, my left hand is staying where it is and I'm going to push that loop through and then I'm going to hold it with my right hand and I'm going to pull the other loop with my left hand and I'm going to pull on those loops. Now that's looking pretty ugly and that's okay, it's supposed to. When it's going to get prettier as I pull back on the ends of the ribbon, so you can see, and on the other side of the ribbon. So I've got the looking a little bit more like a bow. I'm going to tug these. I'm pulling on my two loops and then I'm going to pull them back down again. And there is my bow. Now I'll trim my tails at an angle and then I will glue it onto my project. I can also turn it over and I can just decide which is the best look on this. And there you go. Now there is another way and this is not my preferred method, but I've had many people tell me. And they call it, uh, I think, bunny loops. So they start with a bunny loop on each hand, okay? And then they uh, bring them together and tie a knot in the middle. So I've got my two bunny loops. And then I'm going to bring them together and loop one through the other and then I'm going to pull on the loops and voila, that makes another bow. Now always with doing a bow, you're going to do a little bit of what you see me doing right now. I'm going to adjust the loops and adjust the ribbons. So that's another way. The easiest way, if this feels like too much, is simply to take your ribbon, tie a knot in it, and that can also suffice for looking sort of like a bow. And you can make this very tight or you can make it very narrow. Here's what this looks like on a project. So it looks very much like a bow. It's just a little bit easier way to do it. So Wendy, I hope this helps.